It's not like a criticism, it's just telling it like it is. The reason why people are gonna buy this nail polish is not for what's inside the bottle. And that is the tea. We need a Christine stop emote. Oh my God. Well, hello everyone. I have Tyler, the creator's nail polish. We're gonna play. Now you must disclose your biases. Are you a fan of Tyler, the creator? I must admit, he's probably the person I knew the least about. So I did a little bit of research earlier just to understand. I like Tyler's style. I don't listen to his music a lot, but I like his brand and branding, said Francine. That's probably where I'd put myself. I don't really know his music, but I have seen like clips I just feel like I've seen him in places and thought like he looked cool. <laughs> Are you a fan of Tyler, the creator? 83% said no. Interesting. I was thinking this one would be more because I thought he was like more prominent, especially with the YouTube and creative community. I don't know why I thought that. Golf le fleur means golf the flower, the literal translation. Let me first show you the package that arrived in the mail. It came in this little box, which was kind of deconstructed when I got it. Honestly, I am shocked at this packaging. In my opinion, as a nail polish brand owner, this is a very risky way to ship nail polish because you're putting glass bottles beside each other. You need to give space between them space between. and you need to anchor them down so that there's never a risk of glass going like this. That's my first criticism. I'm sure they saved a lot of money with this cardboard little boat. In terms of the product itself, it's very unique. This looks like a custom cap to me, so that's cool. In terms of functionality, I guess we'll find out. I mean, yeah, it's a flower. That's clearly custom to the Golf Le Fleur. I am concerned about how am I gonna hold this? It's like so big, much bigger than the standard size cap. But if we're gonna look at the good and the bad, this is unique, like it's it's different. The price for Tyler, the creator, mm, yeah, what was it? What, let me in, there. It was $20. It's $20 per bottle, very expensive in my opinion for any nail polish, unless it has like fucking diamonds or like double the amount of linear hollow in it. <laughs> something but uh from my initial observations this looks like creme polish this also is creme polish and this is called glitter it is iridescent hex glitter is what it looks like to me in my opinion <laughs> fuck I in my opinion, every seven seconds. This to me is a pretty widely available pigment. You see it in the drugstore all the time. I'm pretty sure Sally Hansen has like exactly this on the shelf right now. It's not hollow, no. This is iridescent, not holographic. This is holographic. And by holographic, you see how there's rainbows. See how it changes the rainbows? Like it's silver, but then there's rainbows. This one has more like a softer translucent vibe to it as opposed to the intense kind of rainbow vibe of this one. Let's read the colors. Geneva blue, Georgia peach. This one was just called glitter, just glitter. That's it. What do I think of the logo? I don't know enough about him or his brand, so I'm probably like missing what this represents. Someone fill me in. Logo is giving me death and taxes vibes, yeah. I see more people died than required. I think he designed it. Okay, so maybe like, did he draw this? Is he an artist as well? It's definitely original, um, I'll say that. And it is a contrast to the flower on top. So you have this little dead angel and then you have a flower. That's original, never seen that before. And then the shade names are also on the back as well. These are like very heavy, chunky feeling glass bottles, by the way. Like they're, like I could take someone out with this if I whipped it at their head. You know what I mean? Hmm, yes. The brushes look fine. They look like our original Holo Taco brushes, like slightly skinnier side. Holding this cap is strange, but let's see how this goes. Guys, I got a Menchie hair in there. That is not Tyler's fault. That's Menchie's fault. I'm trying to brush it out. Ugh. Menchie, what did you do? Okay, that was not really a fair test. I'm gonna do it again. Yeah, holding this cap is very strange for me. It's definitely not my preference to hold something this wide while painting. Like, 
it just feels weird, but I mean, maybe you could get used to it. I think the color of this is really nice. It's like an eggshell robin blue. In terms of coverage, it seems pretty good on the first coat. I did apply the coats like thicker because when I'm struggling with the brush size, I find I tend to just like overload the brush. We'll paint this on our nails to see how it actually works because that is the ultimate test. The swatch wheel is more for like colors and opacity, but is it worth $20? Yeah, that's the question. I mean, I don't think so because I think you can find this exact color from any reputable nail polish brand, like SE, OPI probably has this exact color. And uh, you can get those for somewhere between nine and $13, depending on where you buy them. That's pretty good coverage for this kind of light orange. It looks more yellow on camera than it actually is in real life. There, that kind of balances it slightly. Creme nail polish, in my experience and understanding, is one of the least expensive types of nail polish to put in a bottle. It's just not expensive as a pigment. So you can't compare the price of something like this to a linear holographic polish. I'll give you one that's like similar in color just so it's kind of the same. That's a linear holo. This is a metallic foil. This is a multi-chrome. These pigments are inherently just more expensive because of what they are. So that can dictate the price of the polish if the brand chooses to make it a higher price point. Whenever I see creme polish that is more than like maybe $15, I wanna say is the cutoff. I don't care how fancy your cap is unless it like has a real gold on it. I really question the profit margin. I mean, I don't question it, but I question how much of a profit margin did you really need? the cynic in me being like, really, does this really need to be $20? I have to call that out, that the celebrity surcharge on everything I've reviewed so far is just so obvious to me. I, you cannot convince me otherwise. I'm just speculating based on my own experience with my brand. I don't know, maybe they just like really got overcharged by a manufacturer, but this just like doesn't make sense to have a creme nail polish for $20. I don't care if the cap is worth a couple dollars on its own. And that is the tea. Okay, let's add some glitter, aptly named. Like, it's cute. Ugh, I guess it's just so hard to impress me in terms of pigments and formulas because I'm like, I've literally seen it all. I own over 2000 nail polishes and this particular glitter topper is like pretty standard. Um, I'm not saying it's bad. I don't mean it's bad. I'm just saying like, in terms of the product itself, this isn't adding anything revolutionary to the product side of the nail polish market. It is adding branding. This is branding, this is packaging, this is an aesthetic, this is a vibe, this is a celebrity who is saying, this is about me, a message that I wanna get across to consumers, to my audience, and that's what is being purchased here. It's not the product in the bottle. It's not like a criticism, it's just telling it like it is. The reason why people are gonna buy this nail polish is not for what is inside the bottle, it's because they believe in the brand, they like Tyler the Creator, they think the aesthetic fits their vibe, these colors just speak to them and they didn't realize you could find these colors in the drugstore and pair them together on your own for half the price. So let me paint these on my nails and then I'll tell you my real conclusion. This is so uncomfortable to hold. I definitely like the brushes of these, but I really don't like this cap and you can't take it off. These creams are good though. This coverage is pretty good. You are gonna get streaks on the first coat of any creme that's like totally normal. They're not one coat. Um, my camera's being pretty misleading. You can see a little bit more clearly that there's a little bit of streakage, which is totally normal. I just wanted to show We're that. We're going streaking, woo! Compare Georgia peach with butterscotch hop. Yeah, we could do that. Butterscotch hop is yellow and Georgia peach is definitely more orange. Here's one melon followers. Maybe this is like the best reference type thing I can do for you guys. Cause some of you might actually own butterscotch hop and one melon followers. So you know where this lands. It's kind of like a muted tangerine orange. I know it's called Georgia peach, but it reminds me more of like a tangerine-y. Tyler, the creator's Golf Le Fleur is not just a nail polish brand. Their brand sells a bunch of other stuff. Looks like Tyler, the creator is creating. <laughs> yeah, there's like suitcases, passport sleeves. Like there's other stuff in here. There's perfume. 
accessories. It's a new brand from what I understand. To me, this isn't just like a nail polish brand. So I kind of want to just make sure we're, we're separating that category. So I'm interested to see if they decide to release more nail polish or if they decide to just continue with the aesthetic direction. Maybe they release some apparel or, or clothing. Oh, he has a clothing line already? Okay, maybe I'm wrong. He has several clothing lines? Okay, so this is another brand of his? Even from just this one brand of his many brands, it sounds like I can tell already, like this isn't just a push for let's release some polish in a bottle. You know what I mean? Like there, there's definitely more of a vision here that is beyond what I'm gonna critique in just like nail polish. Did you do a second coat? No, I did not. Sorry, golf le fleur. Almost like drop. <laughs> I can't hold this. You already have a collab with Xyler the Creator. <laughs> Xyler the Creator. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, so Tyler the Creator's brand did not come with top coat. Did they say you need a top coat? Because this is something that I will point out. This is something that I think is like constructive criticism. If you're gonna sell nail polish, you need to instruct your consumers how to make the best of it. And if you don't tell people that they need a top coat to seal it in, then they're gonna think that they don't. If I went about my day with these nails, they're never gonna dry, basically. And that's just because the polish itself isn't a sealant. It's like a colored pigment in a suspension base that doesn't necessarily give you the same like glassy, quick dry seal that will seal and protect your manicure from everyday activities. Like if I went to bed and three hours from now, I would wake up with bed sheets, with imprints, and that's because I didn't put a top coat on. So it's just standard practice. It's frustrating, another sign when like celebrities or people come out with products like nail polish and they're just not giving that information because I feel like their customers are gonna use the product, not have the basic understanding because why would they, you know? They're not necessarily nail polish experts. And then they'll be disappointed in the product. When all you had to do is give a suggestion, like recommended to add a quick dry top coat of your choice. So to get the best out of the product, <laughs> I'm gonna apply a quick dry top coat. It also just like smooths out a manicure better. Would you guys purchase, and I know the majority of you aren't fans, would you purchase, why, why not? Nah, overpriced. Would probably buy Tyler's more than the others. The color is better, they're more opaque. Find less expensive dupes. I don't wanna just encourage like, just find dupes, cause I don't know. Sometimes you do buy something cause you like the brand as well. And that doesn't just have to do with the celebrity factor, but maybe you like what the brand is presenting to you. There is value in finding dupes if your goal is only to pay the least amount of money possible. But you know, it's okay to just like a vibe of something and, and get it. I like the vibe of Tyler, the creator. It's got fun branding, yeah. But I, I think his branding is, it's more than just nail polish, obviously, right? So there's a whole different premise for the existence of Golf Le Fleur than just like, let me sell you nail polish now. The side of Tyler's reminds me of a tissue. Bonk. Oh my God, it kinda, it kinda looks like a tissue box. I should eat tacos. Do you wanna see my tacos? You don't have a choice. You saw this? I like the blue, oh, I didn't even tell you. I like the blue color, I, the orange is just not for me. And the glitter is very underwhelming. Uh, could have been a drugstore nail polish, that's my summary. But tacos, oh. we'll see y'all later, bye.